Welterweight standout Daniel Rodriguez grew up surrounded by gang culture, which led to the first of many run-ins with the law at the age of 15. After years of living this chaotic existence, Rodriguez turned to MMA in his early 20s in an effort to escape the streets. Now as an elite athlete in the UFC, D-Rod focuses his attention on passing his knowledge as a mentor to others who might be in danger of heading down a similar path. We find out more about this incredible journey in Fighter Focus. Well, since 2020, when Daniel Rodriguez entered the UFC, he was put immediately on the map. This is a tough out at 170 pounds. The guy is a really good striker. He's a really good grappler. And most of all, he's the Los Angeles dog that enjoys the fight. Oh! One of the more underrated welterweights on this UFC roster. This is a man who came from nothing. He's a fighter. He was at trouble with the law. He was in prison. This is allowing him to turn his life around. All systems go right now. D-Rod's on fire. I would have never thought my life would be like this. So if I didn't have MMA right now, I'd probably be still in and out of jail. Lucky I found MMA. Rodriguez! I grew up in Los Angeles, born and raised. But yeah, I lived in the hood most of my life living in a two-bedroom apartment with all of us. And my dad wasn't there. I kind of like played the dad role a little bit, you know? I helped my mom with my younger brothers and sisters while she was at work. I would get like pushed aside. I needed attention, that's why I used to get into so much trouble. Yeah, I knew that both my mom and dad were gang affiliated. Everyone on my dad's side is all tattooed up, all gang banging. And for me, growing up, it was normal. The dudes that I looked up to, you know, were all gang members. This is what I was brought into. That's all I knew. First time I went to jail, I was 15. I've been in and out the LA County jail 20 times. The only positive thing I could take from going to jail is that it programmed me to want to be stronger so I could defend myself get myself prepared to fight. In jail, you can take away everything. The only thing you can really work on is your mental. It got to a point where it was like so bad. Me and my mom together were selling drugs and I realized I needed to make a change when my mom went to prison for getting caught in a car that I stole. And um, I felt like a lot of guilt and kind of changed everybody's life forever. I always had a vision for a better future. It's just, I hadn't, I hadn't found what could get me there. I had uh, got out of jail this one time. I remember this one day, my cousin hit me up. He's like, hey, what's up, cuz? Come watch these fights. So I'm thinking we're gonna watch boxing. I'm like, all right, cool. He's like, yes, yeah, this food named Rampage is fighting. Rampage Jackson. So we're watching the fights and I remember like just right away, just like, oh, I was so interested in it because there's so much to it. I was just a fan. I was like a hardcore UFC fan. Right when I walked in and sparred for the first time, the coaches were like, oh, like you never trained before? And I'm like, no. Nah. And I'm watching all these fights. I'm like, I could do this. Rodriguez bashing away, looking to set up an arm bar, steps over. Straighten him out, belly down, and it's over. Fighting definitely did help me keep me off the streets. It changed my whole life. Daniel Rodriguez! D-Rod, as he likes to be called, coming into this night with an eight and one record. Just a fun brawler to watch. When I got the call to be on Dan White's Contender Series, that fight was so important to me because everything leading up to that point was like, this is it. You know, this is your shot at the UFC. Oh! Saved by the horn. I won the fight, but didn't get signed. And it was a little bit scourging, but I never let anything get in my way. 
And here is Daniel Rodriguez. If he looks familiar, it's because the real fight fans will know he was on the Dana White's Contender Series and ultimately has been waiting for the call for a very long time. Tonight, this 33-year-old gets it with his UFC debut. He is making his debut, but he feels as though a lifetime of fighting has prepared him for this moment. Rodriguez has fantastic boxing. And he throws everything in combination. He's throwing it in rhythm. Big left hand and another oh. one and a third one. Oh, he hurt him bad. Means is covering up along the fence and trying to grab a leg. Oh, he's got the guillotine. Rodriguez oh, trying choke. to choke him out standing up. Oh, it's so Means tight. Taps. taps Daniel Rodriguez as a huge underdog in his UFC debut gets the job done. I think that the biggest impact that Joe has played on my mental game is being calm in crazy situations. Whoa, there we go. When I fight, like you hear announcers say like, oh, he's so calm. Rodriguez is calm. He's taking it all in his stride. He's reading the situation. To me, it's like I'm comfortable. Oh, and an uppercut. I'm comfortable in chaos, you could say. Rodriguez is so relaxed in there, man. That jab is nasty. Oh, oh it drops Dwight. He's got him hurt now. Oh, oh down it hurts goes him again. Dwight oh. And what a fight. Daniel! Being in the UFC gives me a different like purpose because now like my kids like look up to me so much. When I was younger, I just I didn't have like a dad or anything. So I think uh, I just want to like, you know, give back in some kind of way. Chuko is my little homie. I met him when he was 15. I see a lot of like myself in him. Every day I'll make sure I pick him up and then we'll go do what we got to do. D-Rod, I seen him in the gym. We started training together at the yard. He came up to me, and then he just like kind of took me under his wing, I would say, you know? I was getting into a lot of trouble. We kind of see that we walked a similar path, and he started picking me up to train, and then it just kind of like sparked that fire in me to get back in there. I've always knew with my talent, I could go far with this, but training with him is just like, if you're trying to go pro, why would I go train with the pros who try to go to the highest level? If I could change like one dude's life somehow, some way, it make me feel like so much pride. So that's why like, I'm trying to help this fool out. And I just want him to be successful. Ultimately, like my story, I hope would inspire somebody because I know there's like a ton of dudes like me that like made the wrong decisions when they were younger. I come from the hood. I was a project baby, and I didn't walk into the gym until I was 25. I'm kind of like the perfect example of it's not too late. Someone can hear my story and decides to walk into the gym, they could be like, well, if he did it, I could do it. Rodriguez!